All right, guys, I got another video for you. Got the Grim Survival Cordage Maker. This is the micro one that fits on your keychain, and you can take soda bottles. For survival, you know, you find it out in the wild when you're, and you can make rope string. Cordage, if you, uh, you know, braided it, took three and braided it, it works pretty good. I just tried it out on a 20 ounce because if you're out surviving or out in the wild, you normally don't come across a lot of two liter bottles and they always say try to use that because it's easier, but I feel like it's better just to try to use what you can find. And I also got a, I don't know how good this will work because all of this, but we will give it a try. I mean, I've already tried it once. It's, it's not bad. There's not much to grab a hold of this thing. Like I pretty much put it on my table and just kind of held the table and this at the same time real tight and just pulled it and let the top sit there and just spin around and just kept pulling it, which is pretty hard on your hands. I kind of wonder if you could take some paracord, put through this loop and kind of attach it to a, a stick, maybe even cut a groove in the stick, like split, split the stick, put it over this, tie it down where you can hold it pretty good, like a handle. And uh, so we'll uh, get the camera situated and we'll try it on a two liter bottle. And maybe there ain't much left of this. So I cut, you know, I cut around that. There's a line on the bottle. If you can see, you can't see, but there's a line right here. You just cut that whole bottom part off and then you can just set it down on top. Kind of push it a little bit till you get enough where you can grab a hold of it and just pull it. Just keep pulling it. They say to try to use scissors to cut this, but you know, I know we don't carry scissors. We do have a razor knife. Just kind of poke it in there. And I will use scissors, but it's because it makes it a little bit faster. But normally, I'm going to use scissors. Normally, you're just going to use your knife, but. Just to make this a little bit faster for me. I'm just gonna use scissors. You kinda wanna try to cut a clean straight line, because otherwise you're gonna have a hard time starting. From what I have found out in my two minutes of testing. Plus you get a little uh, little bowl or whatnot. Which yes, there's a little bit of a rough edge on it. But if you get it fairly clean, it should be all right. Like I said, I just kind of put it here on the table, held it pretty tight. I'm trying to get this started as a little, a little clean. This is gonna trim it a little bit. I've seen other people holding it like this, but I'm left-handed, so this isn't the best for me. You just need to get it started. You need to get a little tail on the end where you can pull it. Man, I had a way easier time with the 20 ounce. I probably should have showed that. Then uh, this. Now the thickness of it will be the thickness of that where you can see right between the two plates. That's kind of, that gauges the thickness. But you, you get some of it. it eh, that was not strong, let's see. It's fairly strong. But if you, uh, if you braided it, you know, four or five. having a lot harder time with the two liter bottles honestly everybody says they're much easier but that uh, little 20 ounce was real easy but I just keep I just keep cutting it off let me get this let's see if I can get this thing started yeah. 
Yeah. Alright, I got a little tail on there. Which is pretty tiny. Not much to grab a hold of. So I'm gonna keep turning it just a tad. And you could probably use a pair of pliers to get a hold of this. And then pull it. There we go. Yeah, starting to get it to go. I got this bottle wore down pretty far. Uh, it may not go real good. It's not doing too bad. Well, there's a little bit, which is, that piece is pretty strong. I might not have to cut in it. See, I had much easier time with this big bulky son of a bitch, but. Let's see if I can get it started. What? This thing, I just keep cutting all the little tiny chunks off of it. So, for me, it works better with the smaller models. Which, this is probably what you're going to find out in the so-called wild or out in your survival adventures. Is something like this just because I mean usually I'm out hiking and stuff and I come across the smaller water bottles Pepsi bottle Mountain Dew all that stuff you don't really come across two liters and this thing's so freaking tiny you have nimbler fingers probably and are right-handed well I was able to get it to work and uh, I guess it could be aggravating out in the wild if you're trying to survive and all that. The best use for this, I don't know, it'd be good to carry water and whatnot, but. But that's just me, I guess practice with it and whatnot, but smaller bottles I find easier. I'm not even gonna try this freaking thing because all them ribs and whatnot. But just out of that one tiny bit, which I probably could have cut it way down here because I would have got way more, which is definitely quite a few feet, which will help you make a shelter. I don't think it worked good as a snare because I just chewed through it. If you guys have one of these cars and you can get it to work pretty decent, what works better, 20 ounce or the two liter? Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, Seems like everybody has to say it nowadays. Like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next adventure or assembly or build or just whatever we come across. Uh, stay safe.